Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. This is part 11 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about data utility in Azure Databricks. So in our last video, we have discussed about Databricks utilities and how to list down all the utilities available inside that and also how to list down the commands available in each utility. We have discussed that in detail. So please watch previous video before watching this video so that you will make actual sense of it. So this video is dedicated to know more about this data utility. So inside the Databricks utilities, we are going to explore this data utility and the commands inside it. So let me go to Visual Studio uh, browser here. Sorry. So in the browser, I have already opened my Databricks account here. So ADB Mahir is my Databricks Azure account. Uh, I have clicked this launch workspace button to launch my Databricks workspace in a new browser. And here, let me go to compute menu. So under compute menu, we actually create a cluster, right? By this time, you already know. I have already created one cluster and this cluster runtime is 10.2. Why I have used 10.2 is if I go to presentation, this data utility, whatever we are going to discuss, this is available from Databricks runtime 9.0 and above. And this is currently in a public preview. That means you can use it, but you cannot claim if something goes wrong with it. Why? Because uh, it is only in the preview version. So once Azure announced its GA, GA means general availability. At that time, if something compliant with that, then you can very well go and uh, uh, talk to Azure people and also like uh, they will claim you money back also if something is wrong. Uh, but basically, whenever it is in a preview version, that means it is only for the testing and all. Okay, you, you should not use it for the production data. So, since uh, documentation says we should use runtime 9.0 or above to make use this data utility, that's, that's why I created a cluster with runtime 10.2. So, now let me go to workspace here and let me go to users under my folder under my with my name so there is a notebook i created called data utility so let me open this notebook in our past video we have discussed right if you want to know all the utilities available inside the databricks utilities then you need to use this dbutils dot help so this dbutils is nothing but like databricks utilities help function is going to list down all the utilities inside the databricks utilities so let me hit shift enter to execute this command so okay dbutils Sorry, there is a spelling correction db utils dot help shift enter. So let me execute this command. Now see these are all the utilities available inside the Databricks utility. We have discussed this in our past video. And this video, as I said, we are focusing on this data utility. And if you read this data utility will be used to understand uh, and to interact with the data sets. So normally data set means think like any data uh, which is in the data frame. If you want to uh, summarize the data then you should go with a data utility so what what i mean by summarize summarize uh, this term usually people mostly like data scientist people will use that because on every data set that means on every table or, or, or on every set of rows they try to create uh, they try to calculate the mean value and mode and also the medium so there are a lot of uh, parameters they try to calculate and then they try to execute their experiments and all. Let's not go very in deep of it. Uh, you think like uh, this utility, mostly if you are a data engineer, you will not use much. But if you are a data scientist, then you may use it. When I practically show some examples, you will make sense of it. Now inside this data utility, if I want to know what and all the functions or commands available, then what you should use on the DB utilities, use the data function, I mean data utility name, and then use the help function here. Shift enter to execute the cell see this this is a utility that will help you to understand the data sets and this module currently is in a preview that is the reason you should not use it for the production purposes and this data utility has a function or command called summarize which will take a data frame and this summarize function is going to uh, summarize the spark data frame and try to give you statistics about and insights about that particular data set that means if you have any data frame on top of that data frame if you use this summarize function then summarize function is going to give statistics related to that data set whatever the understanding okay so let me practically show you that so and also uh, inside this data utilities if you want to know more about this summarize function to the help function you can pass your function name or command name and execute it this is going to give the proper documentation of that particular command about the summarize function and all okay and what it will return it will actually return the computed summary of the statistics so let me practically show you this so now let's try to create one data frame actually 
So to create one data frame, let's try to create a data. So you can your data frame can be anything. You may be reading a CSV file from your uh, Databricks file system, or you may be reading a CSV file some or parquet files fr from some external storage, whatever maybe it is, right? Uh, but here, what I'm doing, I'm trying to compute my own data frame. So I'm I'm creating a variable called data, which is a list type. Inside the list, each item each item is going to be tuple. So like one comma, maybe Mahir. So think like this is one row, okay? This is uh, one column, this is column one, and this is column two. And let's assume second item is second row, that means second tuple. So again, uh, you should know what is tuple, what is list, and all. If you don't know, please watch my Python playlist, okay? And third item I, I am going to use inside this uh, list is again tuple, and then this tuple contains first item as three, and second item maybe like Mahir, uh, sorry, Pradeep. So that means this is one row, one comma Mahir, second row is two Wafa, third row is three Pradeep. Now let's try to create another column called columns and uh, this is again list. So inside this list, I am going to use string values which is going to act as a column names for the data frame maybe. So this is a list which contains column names as a value and this is a list which contains tuples to represent each row. So once you have these two variables uh, prepared, so on, on spark, spark means like a spark session that will come by default with the cluster, uh, there is something called create, I'm, I'm, I just typed CRE and I'm pressing control space to show the intelligence. See, create data frame function is there. And to the create data frame function, I can pass my data, which is a list of tuples, which represents the row, rows, and I'm passing my columns variable that contains a list of column names. And this function is, this create data frame function is going to create a data frame and give it back. So that data frame, I want to store it in a variable called df. And now below, of the, below this, I'm simply displaying the data frame using the display function. Let's hit the shift enter button to run the cell now. This is going to show whether our data frame created or not. See, my data frame created successful. Now here, what I will do under DB utils, the data utility and the summarize function. I am going to use this summarize function to the summarize function. This data frame, whatever I created here, I am passing that to it. So what will happen? This summarize command of the data deep data utility is going to summarize the statistics information about this data frame. So or about this data set. Okay. So now let me execute it by hitting the shift enter button. So what will happen? It will try to understand this data set or data frame and then it will give you that uh, statistics back. It will try to give you information about this column and inside, the, inside this column what is the mean value, uh, what is the medium value and everything. So if, if I scroll down, see here. So, so this is like information about the ID column and this is the information about the uh, name column and how many rows we have and what is the mean value. Mean is nothing but like average. Okay, average of all the values from this. See, average uh, 3 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3 because 3 rows. So that is like average value. And what is the median value? Median value is once you arrange your data in a ascending order, what is the middle value? So here 2 is the middle value. So that is the reason it came as a median value and max value, minimum value and, and, and some uh, representation, visual representation. So all these mean values, medium values, maximum values, all these values, right, usually in real time, data scientist people will use to whenever they try to execute some experiments, okay. So for them, this uh, utility, data utility and summarize function is very much useful. But you should know the idea. So I have, I am covering this in this video. So if you want to know more about this uh, concept of summarizing statistics in the uh, data scientist world and all, try to research something Google, you will get a more idea, okay. So for this video, we let's not go very in deep. So th that's it. You should know there is a function called summarize and how to use it and all. Let me go back to presentation. So as I said, this is available from the runtime 9.0 and this data utility allows you to understand or interpret the data sets and summarize command actually calculates and give you back the statistics of the data. The data means here nothing but like a, a Spark data frame or a Pandas data frame. So again, what is Pandas? Don't worry if you don't know. So Pandas is also like a one library in the Python that can be used to work with the files uh, or to work with the data. Uh, even the Pandas library can create a data frame. And when I say data frame, data frame is nothing but like a think like in memory you will have data in a tabular fashion arranged or something like that which will contain columns and data everything okay so don't worry if you don't know much details about all these pandas and data frames and everything maybe we will try to cover in our upcoming videos but i hope you got an idea about the data utility with this and uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much